Good day, folks. <laughs> I'm at the camp, <laughs> and I, uh, I was courageous. Well, I got an idea from Dave there, uh, Joe's friend. He put his backhoe on his tractor, so I said that uh, it's been uh, uh, at least 10, maybe more years uh, that I put my little backhoe on the tractor. I said, I'm going to try that. <laughs> Not that I have that much work to do with the back hoe, but uh, I said, uh, so first, uh, first off, I had to take the box plate off. That's, I always have that on the, on the tractor. And uh, take a look at the back of the tractor. Looks kind of naked. <laughs> yeah, the, I even had... I ha I didn't remember that. I think that's the difference between the John Deere and the Mahindra from Dave there. See, I have to take my uh, my uh, three-point hitch that and that and the stabilizer bars there, right here, and on the other side, right there. You gotta take the three-point hitch arms off and. Uh, See, there's the frame I was talking about the other day. See, it's how thick it is, and it's built, and it's underneath. Okay, anyway. Now, <laughs> how this tractor attaches is on this plate right here. It hooks. I don't know if you can see. See the pins? Hang on, I'll bring it to the... See the pins right here? They hook on here, but first, see this here. I that hooks up into here on both sides. And that lifts up the track, the uh, backhoe, and then uh, yeah, from the three point lift arms. Then the upper. Okay, <laughs> see these pins here? They're a one inch pin. These holes right here. They line up with this here. If everything goes good. <laughs> and then put the pin through and you put the... The... Oh, just... Uh, just a side note here. <laughs> This may be stretched out. See me, my, uh, <laughs> my lynch. I think you call those lynch pins. They're the black ones. They're not the, they're not the silver ones, eh? Yeah. <laughs> One of these closes on your fingers. <laughs> You'll be sorry. <laughs> they're a heavy duty type of thing. Okay. So, uh, see. Valco HV350. Right there. See, I patched my seat to it. See that? Last week I did that. I put some right on the seat here. It was cracked. And on the other side too. Right there and right there. We'll see how that uh, that's the stuff that Terrell. Uh, okay. So stand by. I'll set you set, set up on that. What's this, a cocoon? Hmm. My God, everything's kind of... <laughs> it's been a long time, I'll tell you. <laughs> there, ooh, there's even water in the seat. Not too good. Okay, I'm going to go see the old tarps. That's going in the garbage. The bungee cord. <laughs> bungee cord that hold these arms so they don't go down but uh, I guess it didn't want to go down <laughs> okay so I'll set you up there turn you off I'll set you up then I'll turn it back on then uh, we'll try and uh, we'll try and <laughs> and do this but I think I think the way to do this is to I don't know I was gonna say to uh, connect the hydraulics first but uh, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe I should. 
Well, we'll see as we go. I don't remember. Eh? It's like I said, it's been 10 years. Uh, probably going on 50, 10 going on 15. <laughs> okay, so hang in there. I'll turn you off and I'll turn you back on. And see them blocks there, folks? That's where it was sitting. Been sitting there for quite a while. <laughs> ah, different things have happened with this. Uh, Little backhoe. I lost a, a few teeth, and now see these teeth here. They're pinned onto this piece right here. That's welded, but it ended up now the teeth are welded because I lost three or four playing around in the rocks. They finally welded. <laughs> Uh, if I lose something, I'm gonna lose the whole thing, and I'll be, I'll be putting on <laughs> some. Anyways, uh, yeah, I have it mounted. Uh, the pin here, hole in the. But I needed the outriggers. Ooh, <laughs> a lot of hurt in here. Anyways, I needed the outriggers to. Uh, to put this in its place yeah, I think uh, this just helps it bring it up but then uh, the outriggers uh, put it in the right spot this uh, hose is uh, <laughs> this hose is kinda leaning hard against the steel here put some protective uh, anyways uh, She's all hooked up. Uh, I brought it up, but I couldn't put the pins in, eh? Like this, I guess this would have to be adjusted a little bit tighter. So then when I lift, I can lift to put the pin in. But anyways, needless to say. <laughs> ah, another thing, another particularity about this. Uh, I seen the Mahindra. Mahindra is probably, a, well it's not probably, it is a newer tractor, eh? So, see me, I have to fold that seat on the, and then I hold this one down, then I can operate. So it's, uh, it's not just a, uh, but a uh, lot of trouble. Hang on, I'll put my big face in here. It's a lot of trouble. And, uh, oh, another thing too. See, I have a whole bunch of lights on these. I, uh, yeah, use guys there. You gotta make me think. My roll bar, oops, see the roll bar? I can't go in the basement with the roll bar up. Because <laughs> uh, the tractor comes to an abrupt stop. I seen it go in one time, but it bent the roll bar a little bit. So, uh, remind me, <laughs> uh, where, what is it? <laughs> another thing too. Oh, before I use this, I'm going to have to uh, take the pin out of here. Oh. Uh, yeah, pin here, that yeah, pin. Yeah, pin right there. Ooh, the yellow one there. That's for the swing. And then there's another one right here. That one there is for the boom. But uh, that one, uh, I don't know what I did with it. I'd have to make another one. Hang on, I'll start it now. Is it in park? Yeah, it is.
in here. That's a quarter inch plate. I think a quarter by two. But I put it in here because this here, this channel here, was Mickey Mouse, eh? So I reinforced that. I put a quarter by a two plate inside. See, all there was was this little channel here, eh? Now on the weekend, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look and see, uh, change, change this pin here. I'm gonna take some measurements, and I'm gonna make a box, a box to cover the uh, cylinder rod because uh, I've seen uh, Dave has that. See me as soon as I. See me sitting on it there? Hang on. <laughs> I'll set you up. I yoy. My tripod bit me. <laughs> well, sort of. Hang on. There. Can you see? Oh, oh see. Can. There. You have a lot of chance. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be digging.
have to take a off the, where the controls are there and oil all those uh, linkages there. They're kind of stiff. It's kind of jerky it off. Ah, the operator's jerky. <laughs> the operator's jerky and uh, hang on there. I'm going to go shut off this limousine. This not a limousine. Though. I didn't show you how I install that. I think it's uh, it's all uh, you're not gonna buy a John Deere tobacco <laughs> just to find out. Yeah, I'm just showing you. Ah, it's maybe it's Dave's fault. <laughs> it's Dave that uh, can you tell that the, there's a few black flies? See to install it, eh? I just lifted it up and I drug it right there. The wind's blowing. This is the weekend where the, up north here, where that storm, the tropical storm that they had in the States, that came right up here in Canada, right up to James Bay. Uh, a few years ago I had uh, did a special on the weather and I uh, had talked about Things uh, like there was a Beaufort in the northern Ar Arctic, Bo Beaufort gyro that had last year was the first year that ever happened. The gyro went down right through the state and it went across the equator into the southern hemisphere. That's the first time that ever happened last year. And now this we never see this. A tropical storm like a hurricane and it go comes in land and then it comes right up and it goes right up the, to the Arctic here in Canada so I've never seen a eh? so uh, that's just changes the weather uh, I guess we jer jerk mother nature around too much and now she we're gonna pay for it eh? see you yeah I just <laughs> I know it has nothing to do with the tobacco here uh, and I'm comfortable here with the black flies, eh? Uh, I gotta tell you something about black flies, too. Some people said maybe the partridge should invite her friends so they can eat the black flies. You know what eats the black flies? Bats and uh, dragonflies. Dragonflies. When you see, I seen some coming up today, a few spots, but they're not here yet like uh, in front here me uh, I always see them maybe eh? <laughs> today it's so windy I think the 80 wow, 80 kilometers an hour doesn't mean nothing in miles per hour I don't know 40 50 50 miles an hour I don't know around that something like that anyways uh, where was I going with that yeah black flies <laughs> it's the dragonflies are the ones they they clean them out, eh? They, they eat them, cause they're they're mad right now, eh? See, like we're behind. Hang on, I'll show you. We're kind of you know, see right there. We're behind the camp here, eh? So there's not too much wind. Well, so I can talk to you too, cause all you'd have is wind noise. But uh, hang on, I'll take you off the. I'll take you off the tripod. I'll show you. Up in the heights, see up there. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna bring it in. It's not that bad, but you can tell. See the trees. See the trees. How big they've grown. <laughs> Ah, one day I'm going to be a singer, eh? Uh, I've been uh, practicing. Uh, There's one song I like a lot there. and Maybe someday if I get the courage, I'll uh, sing it 
sing it to you guys. With no music, I'm, I'd have to get a few of their friends in here rocking the power <laughs> wing <laughs> uh, to accompany me in the, with the music. You know what the song is? Uh, last Cowboy. The last cowboy song. And, uh, well, <laughs> I like it. Uh, someday I may, I'm not a big singer, but I try, eh? See up there? How the trees are moving, eh? They're moving, and it's not because it's not, uh, hang on. Yeah. Uh, little Jean. Eh? Uh, having no problem with the rear end. She's, uh, this is uh, ooh, we're going around. That was it. I'm having no problem with the rear end. You can put a little beats and all. Hang on. Yeah, you're gonna get some wind noise there, cause uh, see on the lake. Well, there's no white caps. It's that a little bit, a little bit down there. But uh, ooh, black fly was eating. But uh, today there, oh my god, it was, uh, it was rough, 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 rough. <laughs> hey, I gotta go, I gotta leave you guys, you know why? Because it's a big special here. Ooh, look at that. Hey, look at that. up there. That's a thousand elevation. That this elevation here. Up there. I tell you, because see the pine right there. It, there's a sickness, say, in the white pine and they catch it. There's one in front there uh, close to uh, my woodshed that's uh, dying too. They, I don't know, I hope with time they don't all keel over. Ah, yeah, I was telling you guys, it's a big special here at the camp tonight. We're, uh, we're right now, it's, ooh, it's 5.30. Yeah, <laughs> my wife, <laughs> they, well, her sisters and her, they're gonna be eating at the house and Mia is going up to the camp. So this morning she went out and, and bought me some lobsters. Eh? <laughs> So it's uh, going to be a lobster fest tonight. <laughs> Hang on, I'll put my big, my <laughs> big face in here. Yeah, we're going to have ourselves a lobster fest tonight. I I don't know, like I, I seen uh, the lobster down east. Very expensive, like uh, 10, 12 bucks a pound. Right now... Where I live, we're paying uh, six ninety nine a pound this year. It's not expensive. It's been quite a while since it hasn't been since it hasn't been this cheap. And you know what I attribute that to? The Chinese or uh, Chinese uh, market is a big market for the lobster, right? But uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, they put the kibosh on. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese export, I don't know. Uh, uh, anyways, six ninety nine. It's been quite a few years, ah, 10, 15 years since I seen that. I like my uh, my lobster uh, cold too, eh? Like, uh, but I'm having two. That's reasonable. I got some different coleslaw and uh, different stuff that's going with that. So it's gonna be a a bit of a special thing. I was going to show you how I put the, but then you seen uh, Dave put his on. Well, this one here is a lot harder to put on <laughs> than the Mahindra one. Uh, and I know one good thing, him, he doesn't have to take his uh, his drawbar arm, arms off. Me, I have to take them off. Yeah, so close in here. Okay, <laughs> I said enough, I don't know. This is going to drag on for half an hour, right? Eh? <laughs> so, okay, folks, I haven't seen my little buddy yet. Too windy. I guess the, the wind and the 
leaves and the branches that makes noise and she's scared so she hunkered down. But uh, I'm going in. I uh, said enough for, <laughs> for today. I salute you all. Don't forget, eh? Those that aren't subscribed, it's your chance to subscribe and then and then you ring that bell, eh? You look, you, there's a little bell there. Well, you ring that bell and then as they come out, you'll be getting them, eh? Like right fresh off the press. Like uh, these movies, eh? <laughs> Jewels of knowledge, yes, sir. Okay, that's it. It's enough said. I salute you all and we'll see <laughs> you in the next one.